progress seems to have been made towards the conducting of the 2023 population and housing census, which is a national project. Now joining me in studio is Statistician General Alex Shimwafeni. Good evening, SG. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, Selma. Good mm -hmm. evening, viewers. It has been a long time coming. Can you just briefly give us the latest update on the census that was announced today? Uh, yes. Uh, the three months ago, about three months ago, on the 1st of March, we <coughs> were updating the nation in terms of uh, the census that is going to take place after the Honorable Minister of Finance had announced on the 22nd of February that mm -hmm. uh, the budget was allocated for the census. <coughs> but now also we have updated the nation in terms of just to clarify in terms of the census process because we have the census and what we call the post enumeration census as well. Mm -hmm. So this is where we are at the moment. I mean, this exercise, although temporarily, like for many, it has been an opportunity, you know, to earn that temporary income. I mean, we have noticed the ads on this mass vaccination. We are looking at roughly 13,000 mass recruitments. Can you just provide more details on those vacancies and which specific areas? Yes, correct. We have, from the 7th of uh, August, uh, 7th of June, which is yesterday, <coughs> we have advertised for these uh, field, field, field staff uh, vacancies. Uh, which is about, like you said, uh, more than uh, 13,000, about 13,100 of those vacancies. These are will be mainly the people who are going to the f into the field, mm -hmm. who are going into the households to do the actual enumeration. But before that, already in uh, towards end of April, uh, we had about 38 office-based vacancies also that, uh, that we had advertised, and uh, we are busy uh, finalizing those recruitments. And um, yes, it's for some of them at quite temporary, but <coughs> apart from the compensation mm -hmm. that they're getting as remuneration, uh, it's also something that is good that you can add to your CV. And we also know that out there, uh, we have quite a high number of unemployment, and I think it will just be a good lift for those Absolutely. unemployed youth. Mm -hmm. And in terms of logistics, I mean, especially when we're looking at the sourcing of um, in the, the initiative of sourcing private vehicles from individuals. Can you just share more details on that, the process and the purpose thereof? <laughs> yes, we, when we were lobbying for the funds from mm -hmm. the Minister of Finance, we were saying that uh, the majority of these funds will also be spent locally. So what we're saying is that we are going to rent what we call transport services from individuals. Transport services because the individuals will drive their own vehicles mm -hmm. or they will assign drivers to the vehicles, which is a win-win situation because they will take care of their own vehicles. This will be about 2,800 vehicles that we are going to source countrywide and we are going to source from constituency levels. Mm. So where we are <coughs> on the last week, we have already announced to the chief regional officers so that they can explain to the uh, councillors or the constituencies so that people can go and register their vehicles, mm. uh, so that we can also have an assessment in terms of what their response is. And then uh, come time when people need to go in the field, so people will be deployed. And, and the idea is that why we want to get people from the constituencies is that it's obvious that you know the, 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 the area to drive around, you know, people will know you also mm. as the driver. So I think we are really decentralizing uh, the census, uh, which is a national project. Mm -hmm. Speaking of finances, SG, um, do you still, are you still within the budget or do you foresee perhaps requiring more, um, you know, more finances um, and maybe for additional activities? Uh, we are within the budget, but I must say that uh, we really need to be strictly adhere to the budget. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that with the execution we need to be very tight with the uh, with those timelines and the execution uh, because we all know that uh, resources are very finite, uh, very scarce, pr uh, competing with other priorities. So we, we are putting in a lot of uh, time into the planning so that we can have a, a seamless execution. Mm -hmm. Right, and now just before I let you go, could you just maybe um, shed more light on the scheduled dates for the census and perhaps also just, you know, your expectation for the upcoming census, you know, s seeing that it has been postponed twice? Yes, the starting with the dates or the timelines is that uh, from the, 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 the households mm -hmm. or the, the public must expect the enumerators to visit their households from the 18th of September 
to the 3rd of November. That is now the enumeration, the actual data collection, mm -hmm. actually starting on the 18th, what we call listing, uh, which is just make sure that uh, you are going to the right properties or households. And then um, <coughs> up to the 3rd of November, where we are saying, uh, it's also including what we call the post enumeration survey, which is just basically uh, another survey to assess the quality mm -hmm. of, of the work that was done. And then from the 20th, come back now where we start, we start with the 24th of July up to the 4th of August. We are going to have a master training. Right. All this training is going to be done internally by our internal experts. And then from the 7th of August up to um, the 1st of September, we are going to have trainer, training of trainers, two levels, level one and level two. And then from the 8th of September up to the 16th of September, this is now the real main big training where all those 13,000 enumerators will be trained. So up to the 16th and then from the 18th, they will go into the households mm -hmm. to start the enumeration of the census. Mm -hmm. Just quickly before I let you go, find, uh, back to the budgeting um, question, how much are we looking at for the whole exercise? Uh, <coughs> it's, uh, it's public knowledge that uh, the budget was, uh, was provided for this year was uh, 706 mm -hmm. million. But before that, we did, we did what is called the census mapping and all other preparations. Uh, that was around 130 million as well. So you need to add up those two to get just over 830 million. And then to go back to your <laughs> last question also about the expectation. Sorry, I cut you short. <laughs> yes, the expectation for the, from, the, uh, from the public is that when we say this is a national project, mm -hmm. it's because everyone, whether we are a business or an individual, we tend to benefit from the census data that we are going to collect. So we're expecting you to cooperate, like we say, play your part, be counted, make sure that people, when they come to you, you will be counted. If you cannot be counted during that time, mm. people can make appointments to come back to you. Uh, and what I'm saying is that you'll be doing this in your comfort of your home, you'll be listening to questions and responding, and the people will be, uh, uh, the, the, the enumerators will do their, their work. And then also, finally, I want to um, request the nation, especially the youth unemployed, to apply for these positions. It's really a good opportunity. They will be trained also before they go into the enumeration. And then finally, for the public with the vehicles that can also participate and be compensated, compensated for, the, for driving their own vehicles within their constituencies. Mm -hmm. That's uh, my expectation from the nation. Alex Shimwafeni, Statistician General, we thank you so much for joining us this evening and for that update. We'll surely stay in touch for more details. Of course, we'll come back for more information, yes. As Always we are welcome. Out. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you so for joining much. us.